What's your message to Joe Biden? F you. In the past, we are basically Democrats, all of us. And after what's happened the last four years in this country, they Democrats are basically pushing everybody to the other side. Put out a poll in my union. President Trump is leading Joe Biden three to one on my presidential poll out of my 9,000 members. USA! 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 Close in New York, I understand, and we're leading in the country by a lot. Videos brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Make sure you get one of these uh, shirts uh, from the store. It's called I Plead the Second. I don't need to plead the fifth if I got the second, if, if you know what I'm talking about. So go to the store. Get the merch today. Uh, TatumStore.com. The discount will pop up here. Maybe we'll create one for you. To For everybody that's on my YouTube channel, I always want to give you some, some love back so you don't have to pay full price. I'll give you a discount because I love you. I appreciate you. And thank you so much for all of you guys who have supported the store. We have over 100,000 customers and we have over 15,000 five-star reviews. So we're doing something right and you guys are very supportive and I love it and I appreciate you guys. Uh, so go to the link, like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, welcome back to the Officer Tatum Show. The tide is turning in a tremendous way with Donald Trump. If somehow you don't think that Donald Trump is going to win this election, I think you are being deceived. I don't care what the media says. I don't care what happened in 2020. Donald Trump is going to win this election. He has garnished so much more support than they want to divulge to you. They do not want to let you know that most people are sick of what Joe Biden is doing. What's it like seeing so many Republicans in Manhattan, so many Trump supporters in Manhattan? Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? F*** you. In the past, we are basically Democrats, all of us. And after what's happened the last four years in this country, they Democrats are basically pushing everybody to the other side. We're a very patriotic group and we love our country and we want the best for America. We are tired of immigration. We're tired of our tax got dollars going to immigration. We're tired of the crime. We need to put a handle on things in this country and bring it back to how it should be. I put out a poll in my union. President Trump is leading Joe Biden three to one on my presidential poll out of my 9,000 members right now. We are very tired of the situation with groceries, uh, inflation, gas prices, illegal immigration, crime. We're living it every day in New York City. Close in New York, I understand, and we're leading in the country by a lot. Uh, poll just came out a little while ago, as you saw yesterday, that we have, we're up in every swing state and up by a lot in every swing state. So uh, I think we're going to do very well, and we're going to make a play for New York. It's, they said, I just heard there was a very good poll came out. Look, normally, a Democrat will win New York. Biden is the worst president in history, and we have some very bad people here, but we have the greatest people, and they're right behind me. And let me just explain this to you. Same thing happened to me. Republicans don't do a good job at winning Republicans or winning people over to the Republican Party. The Democrats do an incredible job at winning people over to the Republican Party. I didn't become a Republican because of Republicans. I really didn't. The Democrats were so insanely bad for what I believe would be the best opportunity for America to grow and prosper and to be great. They were so opposed to that in their rhetoric and their policies that it pushed me away from them to my only other option, which was the Republican Party. And when I got there, I realized that I was a Republican this whole time and that I was never a Democrat. And I had been deceived and confused and delusioned by the propaganda that's on television and in music and in culture that I believed that the Democrats were for the for the people and the Republicans were, st were stuck up white folks that just had money and that's all they cared about was their bottom line. Then I realized, oh crap, I've been lied to. I am being deceived and I got mad. And I said, I'll never support people like this ever again. And I think a lot of people in America are seeing it. I mean, 
abortion. Okay, ignorant, ignorant women and beta males support abortions. Ignorant women and beta males. If you're listening to me and you support abortion, you're an ignorant woman. Or you a beta male. I don't care what nobody say about that. It is crazy to me that a woman will support abortions. And, and I'm saying, abor- that's not, let's not talk about the lie that they tell you. The life of the mother and rape and incest. Y'all, listen, if that was what you cared about, then just say that. Only these, we can have a window of opportunity for people to have an abortion in these areas. No, no, you, you think it's my body, my choice, and a woman should be able to do whatever she want to do with, her, with that man kid. Because it's his kid too. But a woman should be able to be selfish and crazy and murder her own child because she feel like it. I don't know. Maybe the child, she think the child is going to be gay when it grow up, huh? And do you like that analogy? The child going to be gay so you can kill it. You tell a liberal that. If I knew my child was gay, I, I, have, a, I have an abortion. They'll lose their mind. How could you? Oh, so now you're, not, yeah, you're against abortion. If the murdering of the baby is against your theology, then now you're against abortion. These people are nutty. They're crazy. They're evil. They're going to hell if they don't repent. Period. Now let's move back to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is changing people's minds once they actually listen to him. When they see how bad the Democrats are and that have been, they say, well, let's go to the Republican side. Donald Trump is the front runner. Let me go back and listen to what he said. I mean, the man can't be that bad. Is he? Look at all these black people that support him. Look at all these people that, uh, let, me, let me listen to him. They listen to him and realize this whole time Democrats have been lying to him. Donald Trump is going to win. Donald Trump is going to win big. People cannot handle the, way, the, the, the wave of the economy. And Donald Trump spoke to this. And I'm going to play the clip of him talking about uh, the GDP being down to 1.6%. Row clip two. As you probably have heard, some very big things have happened, but the biggest seems to be that uh, the GDP just announced it's all the way down to 1.6% and it's heading south. It's going to get worse. Gas prices in California were just also announced that $7.60 gasoline is going way up. Energy costs are going way up. And the stock market is, uh, in a sense, crashing. Uh, the numbers are very bad. This is Bidenomics. It's catching up with him. It's lucky that it's catching up before he leaves office, as opposed to after he leaves office. But this is Bidenomics. It's destroying our country at the border, destroying our country with other countries. They no longer respect the United States. I think the dollar is in tremendous trouble in terms of currency. This is going to be the standard, and it's going to be the standard with me. With Biden, you're going to lose. The dollar is the standard. That'll be like losing the biggest war we've ever lost. And it's a shame, but it's uh, all the way down to 1.6. And I'll tell you, nobody thought that would be possible. And it looks like it's heading down from there. Think about that for a minute. You can have your statement of faith when it comes to all of these social issues, but it, when your gas is seven dollars a gallon, and and I'm assuming I'm hoping that he's saying premium. If regular unleaded is seven dollars, that means premium gas is almost ten dollars a gallon. You know how how insane that is, and and this is on top of all other taxes and expenses that you got to do in California, and this is on top of them saying, listen, listen how silly they are. These prices are going way up, and they're telling you that. All cars are going to be electric by 2030 or something. They can't handle that. People can't afford that. The charging port takes 40 minutes to charge your car. Are they going to put a charging port at every uh, hotel, uh, every apartment complex, every duplex, all over the state? They're not going to. They're not going to be able to hold that much electricity on the grid. They lying to you. And what? What? Who's going to deliver these vehicles into production and from production into the city or states? car dealerships it's gonna have to be a diesel truck because they don't have electric trucks available right now at that number that can completely take over all of the uh diesel trucks it's not gonna happen brother they're lying to you they're dirty sorry mother you know what's and they need to be voted out of office 
They're evil. They're demons. They're devils. And I and, and I, I'm saying this because we need to stop, you know, towing the line and being nice and sweet to these people and call them for who they are. These people are devils and they're they're destroying America. If if what Donald Trump said, which I think he wouldn't lie about this because he's probably looking at a report. If the GDP is down to 1.6 and headed downwards, that is fatal for many people in America. Inflation being high is fatal for people in America. Gas is up. Groceries are up. Your wages are not going up and it can't go up. Devastating for Americans. And it's all because of what Joe Biden is doing. And on top of that, what is he doing? While you're suffering, while you're contemplating suicide, which I would argue never do that, call a hotline, get some help, talk to somebody because it's too final. But in an economy like this, people are contemplating because they're losing everything. They don't know where they're going to live. They don't know. They, people, some people, not all. Some people don't have enough money to, to survive. Now, if you are looking at this, these elements and these things that are going on and you see Joe Biden not even trying to prevent millions of illegals from coming into America. And he gets on television and apologize for calling Lakin Riley's killer an illegal alien and says he's just undocumented. Then they get to these major cities that have been pumping their chests out, saying that we are sanctuary cities and they're bombarding these cities and they're using your money, hard earned money that they're that they're stealing from you without your consent to give to illegal aliens to make sure they got food to eat, place to stay. And they have a bright future in America, but they're not making sure you have a bright future. They're using your money to make sure they have a future. You are dying on the inside. Your bank account is drying up. You don't know where your next meal coming from. And they steady taking taxes. And then they go give it to them so they make sure they know where their meals are coming from and they know where they're going to stay. And they're trying to get them in education and get them trade and get them lawyers. And they're doing all this for people on your money. You don't get nothing for free. You have to work. You have to struggle. You have to pay for everything that you have. You don't get nothing handed to you. But the money you work for is handed to them. And then they go and sign a bill to give Ukraine hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars. You go to Ukraine, people partying, they drinking, they having a good time. They got us spending hundreds of billions of dollars on wars that ain't even on our turf. And you got these dummies at universities talking about pro-Palestine, crying and and threatening people, and that conflict ain't even in America. This is Biden's America, and it will get worse if this idiot were to get four more years. I guarantee you, I put my life on it, it will. Ladies and gentlemen, running out of time. Y'all stay tuned. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. <laughs> 